welcome to a ballet class at home. Due to the coronavirus, you most ballet schools are closed. But what I was thinking is that we could do a ballet class from home. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So first, we will have to warm up because if you don't, you'll probably pull something and then it will hurt and then it's gonna be really bad. So first, you will open your legs and then go down. Try to touch the wall behind you if you have one. Now we will stretch to our right side. Now to our left side. Now we will turn out and then bend our legs, bend our knees actually. And then we will put our hands on both of our knees and then put one of your shoulders forward. It doesn't matter which one. Now the other side. Now we will go into butterfly position, which is basically putting your feet together and pushing your legs as far, pushing your feet as far back as you can to your other legs, and then pushing your knees down to the floor. And then, if you can, you can reach forward as far as you could go. To a middle split. If you can, you could go like this or whichever one you want. But if you are as flexible, you could go into an actual middle split. And then if you can, you could go, you could um, put your belly to the floor. turn to our right leg we'll put the right leg in forward in front and then we will put our left hand onto our right leg and then put our right hand onto our left leg to make a square now we will reach up and then go turn to our left side. Also, it's okay if you're not as flexible as me. I know with hard work you will get there. So, we will do the same thing as we did with the right side, but put our right hand in on our left leg, and I put your left hand on your right leg to make a squirt. Now we will reach forward. Make sure keeping that square body. Now we will get up and reach back. Now, since we're all warmed up, we can get our bars out. Don't, you could just use a chair.
start with our warm up for our legs, which is plies. So first, we're going first position. It doesn't have to be as wide as me, no, but right. you could go here, you can go wherever your first position is. And then you will go demi plie. It's not all the way down. And then demi. Then you will go grand plie, which is all the way down. Don't stay there because the reason is that you have to get back up to get to the next move. And then you will go forward, come up, and then go back. And then come back up. And then you will open to second position. You will go down, which is the same thing, demi plie, demi plie, and then grand. You can't lift your heels. You have to go as far down as you can without lifting your heels. Now go. And then we move to fourth position. Demi, demi, grand. We will go to the bar. And then we will go away from the bar. And then we will move to fifth position. Demi, demi, grand. We will go forward again. Then we will go back. And then you will rise up to Susu. And then you will put your hands in fifth. You take your hand off the bar and see if you can balance there for at least 10 seconds. If you can't, you can hold your hand on the bar and then come back up. And then go back to fifth position. And then we'll do it on the other side, which is And now, for the positioning of your hand, you will have to go make your pointer finger and your thumb in a V shape. The only, the two reasons is that you will be perfectly straight when you go into the center, and then you will do your best. And also that your hands don't get strained and don't get um a habit of doing this. You. And then it will also give a light grip on the bar. So you won't have to go like this to just hold your balance. And then you will get off, your torso will get to the side, and then that would be bad. Now, we will go on to our tondus. A tondu is basically that. And then you just come in. So we're gonna do one go in first position open to the side you go one two make sure the line of your point is in basically in line with your nose and also you have to point because if you flex or if you just relax your foot it won't look as pretty so you have to point and that's two three plie 
then you will go to the side. One, two, three, plie. And also, if your turnout is here, you have to go in line with your turnout. You can't make your turnout wider to go here, but if your turnout is here, you always have to go where the direction of your your big toe is, basically. And then you can't go like this, turn out, and then you have to you have to make it in line. So three to the side, and then we go backwards. One, two, three, plie, and then we will close to fifth, tendu, close to fifth. Rise up, and then turn to the other side, down. And then we will do the same thing on the other side, which is this. When doing that, remember that your back foot, when you're doing the tendu back, you always have to make it in line with your head. Don't make it out here. Don't make it too cross. Make it like right where your heel, like right here, make it where your um, point is in the back. So next, we will be doing Grand Jean. No, we will actually be doing Degage. Now we're on this <laughs> So, we will be going. Basically, degage is the same thing as tendu, but we need to take it off the floor. Like, let's say it's 45 degrees. Like one, like that, basically. So you will be in fifth position, which on to the side, you will go one, two, three. Basically the same thing with the tendu, you have to plie, and then you go three to the side. Each changing, basically you go like this, and then you have to open, change the side. Open, change the side. Three of those. One, two, three, and then you'll be ready to start from the back. One, two, three. Plie. And then we will rise up again. If you want, you could take your foot off the floor and put it into passe and balance there. And then cover. And then for the other side, it is this. Basically, for this position up here, that's your pirouette position. When you go up, that's how we get ready for pirouettes. And if you can hold it for there a long time, you could do a lot of pirouettes. So, now we're gonna do round and jump. We go in fifth position. Arm opens, time to do the front. We keep going on on the same foot. Remember to put your big toe basically on the floor and you keep going like that until you hit the back. And then when it hits the back, you close into your first position, back. 
and then you go the same thing four times. Three, four. And then we will go backwards. One, two, three, four. And then if you can, you can take it off the floor, to the side, and then to the back. Don't make it really high because if you go really high, and then it will be hard to go to the back. So just, again, 45 degrees. And then after we do the back, we go again like that. And then we do it from the back, side, front, close. And then we will rise up only in first and hold it there for 10 seconds, if you can. And then we will go to the other side which looks like this. Okay, next, we will be doing frappe, which is basically a strike to the front and the side of the back. So we go like this, that's our preparation, we go like that. And then you strike to the front. One, remember to hit the floor, at least brush the floor. Like, Don't do it like slow, you have to do it really fast, it's sharp. So, one, two, that's just an example. So first, we will be doing, like this, our preparation, and we do one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, Two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. We will bring it into fifth position and again rise up in fifth. And then, if you can, you can put your foot up, but in passe position. Or if you can't, just rise up in fifth. And now, for the other side. Remember to strike when you hit the frappe. Okay, now we will take the bars away. And now we will just be doing center work. We will be going in quasi, which is basically cross. So if you go front, it's cross, your legs are both cross. And if, even if you go to the back, your legs are still both cross. So go like this and turn to the right corner. You will be doing. Or should we just okay? Let's do just do it here. One, two, three. Change legs. One to the back. Two, three. Change legs to the side with your other front leg. Side. Two, three. 
This way will be in the back now. And then we will go one, two, three, four. And then we will go to the other side, which is like this. Still putting this leg in front. We're still putting the leg that you face to the audience in front. Now. Now, now we will be doing our jumps. Only 16 songs and moms. Basically, we do jump, we have to change legs. Only 16. So, three, two, one. And that brings us to our ends. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button to see more of these follow along videos. Peace out.